You may not think we can get much info from a 91 second trailer, but we have an insane amount of confirmed new and returning vehicles already in GTA 6. Let's not waste any time, let's get into it. In this very first shot of the trailer, we can see a bunch of returning vehicles. So starting here on the left is the Galavanta Baller from GTA 5. Below that, we see another vehicle towing this boat. That's the Vapid Bobcat XL, also from GTA 5. Next to the Baller, I initially thought this was a Gauntlet Hellfire, but upon further inspection, the community has found out that this is actually the Vapid Dominator. Next to that, we can see a tour bus. A lot of people thought this was the same tour bus as GTA 5. This is not. This is a new vehicle. Then to the right of that one, we can see the Vapid Speedo returning from GTA 5 as well. The only other vehicle we can really see clearly enough to make out is the Zirconium Stratum over here. So just from this screenshot alone, we can confirm five vehicles coming back. In the next scene, we see a brand new drivable yacht. This was definitely not a drivable vehicle in previous games, but on the beach here, we can actually see the Cara Cara 4x4. This looks like it's going to be the lifeguard or one of the lifeguard vehicles in GTA 6. And then in the sky, we can see two returning vehicles, the Maverick helicopter and the Dodo plane. Particularly, the Dodo is just a GTA classic at this point. I think this will basically be in every GTA game forever. We then get our first look at the Everglades and we see a new fan boat here. Now, this is similar to what we got in San Andreas, but it's not that one. It's a completely new vehicle. But I can already tell this one's going to be a lot of fun to drive around the Everglades with. From this screenshot here, we can also confirm five vehicles. So we'll start up in the air. We have the Super Valito helicopter. This is one of the more luxury helicopters in GTA 5, so I don't think this will be very cheap. And then on the top right here, we've got the Sea Sparrow returning from GTA 5. Now, if you've never used this one, it's actually pretty cool. It can land in the water. Honestly, this could be a really good vehicle to fly around the Everglades with, in all honesty, seeing as the swamps will be everywhere and it might be hard to land the vehicle on land. We also get a closer up shot of the Cara Cara 4x4 that we saw in the last screenshot. And we see two jet skis. One of these is returning, the Sea Shark here on the left. And next to that, we see a brand new jet ski. And the great people on Twitter have found out that this is based off a Yamaha Wave Runner. Here we see a bunch of boats. Now, I went through all of the GTA 5 websites. I thought this boat at the front here was a returning boat. It's actually not. So this one's new. And in fact, all of these boats are new, which is good news. Hopefully boats play a bigger role in Vice City. I think they probably would. There will be a lot more water in Vice City compared to Los Santos. This shot gives us two returning supercars. The first one here that Lucia is in is the Pegasi Zaruso. This is actually one of my favorite supercars in the game. I love this one in GTA 5. And over to the left here, we have the Grotty Furia. Moving on to the next scene, I don't think I have ever seen so many people love a specific vehicle. This vehicle on the right here is just blowing up on social media. People love it. It's based on a Chrysler 300. We haven't actually seen this vehicle since GTA 4. In GTA 4, this was called the PMP 600. Now, spoiler alert for later on in the trailer. I'll just show it to you. Now, this is not the PMP 600. This is actually the next version of it, the PMP 700. And we can see that because we see later on in the trailer that on the back of the car here, it says 700. Now, in front of the PMP here, we have the Albany Buccaneer Custom returning. This is a lowrider, of course, very obviously. And then in front of the Buccaneer, we have the Tulip M100 also coming back. But this is a customization that you could not put on it in previous games. The customization on especially the lowriders looks absolutely incredible. If you haven't played GTA Online, essentially a few years after release, they released Benny's Custom Motorworks, which let you do a lot more of this type of customization, but not to this level. So GTA 6 is taking it even a step further. Here on the left, we have the Albany Primo returning. In the middle of the road, we have the DeClass Granger 3600 also coming back from GTA Online. Then a little bit further back here on the left, we have the Vapid Chino also returning. If we go forward a couple of frames here, not even a second, and we look in the background, and again, huge shout out to Twitter and also the GTA 6 subreddit for this as well. There is no way I could have found all of these myself. But in the back here, we can see the Albany Washington. Also in this frame, we get a pretty clear shot of the NS Jubilee, as well as what looks to be a new motorbike. And off in the very distance on the left here, we can see two Omnis cars, which is GTA's version of Audi. Now, the one on the left here is apparently the Omnis EGT from GTA Online. I'll take people's words for it. It's kind of hard to make out. It's very, very blurry. And then this Omnis on the right here is still unconfirmed. Probably a new 
new variant or a new vehicle completely. And then also in the sky, we can see another Maverick helicopter, but this is a police Maverick, which is the same helicopter, just a different variant. You would have seen this before. This is the main helicopter the cops are in in GTA 5. Here we can see a bunch of vehicles as well. So we've got the Bobcat XL that we saw in the very first scene here. Above that is another pickup truck coming back, the Bravado Bison, as well as the Yuga Classic below that, which is Lamar's vehicle that he uses for LD Organics in GTA Online. Then on the road here, an absolute classic, the Bravado Banshee. Of course, we knew this one was going to be coming back. Next shot, can we just acknowledge how awesome this shot looks? This is my favorite shot from the whole trailer. It's already the background on my PC. Seriously, every frame in this trailer could be a wallpaper, but we'll start by moving up this right line of cars here that are all parked on the side of the road. So here at the bottom, we have the Fista Comet S2 Cabrio. This is, of course, a Porsche. Fista is Porsche in GTA. Above that, we have the Grotty Cheetah Classic, as well as the Grotty Carbonazar. Grotty in GTA 5 is Ferrari. The next car ahead of that we see is the Coquette D10, which is based off a Corvette C8. And then ahead of that one, we've got the Rebler GTS SUV. We'll move over to the left in this lane. So starting off, we've got the Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire coming back. And then a bit further up the road, we have the Obey Tailgater. This was Michael's car from the storyline in GTA 5. Moving over to the left lane, we can see a Lamborghini Aventador. This is currently not in GTA, so this is a brand new vehicle. This will be a Pegasi vehicle. Lamborghini is Pegasi. Behind the Aventador, we see the Benefactor Shafter V12 returning. And then at the back here, we've got, of course, the Ocean View Hotel iconic from Vice City, but in front of it is also another iconic car, and this looks to be some upgraded version of the Oceanic from Vice City. If you've never played Vice City, this car was basically always outside the Ocean View Hotel, and I actually hope that in the final game, almost all the time, this car will be parked out front of there as well. That would be awesome. Then the final car we can clearly see here is the Vapid Dominator GTX. Maybe my favorite muscle car in GTA Online, either that or the Buffalo STX, so I'm pretty stoked to see this coming back. This next scene is awesome as well. I've said that a few times. Every scene in this trailer is awesome. Just look at it. But clearly, we see a closer-up shot of the Dodo that we saw earlier. Can't really make out any of the cars on the road. We're just a bit too far away, but we can see another returning vehicle up the top here is the Blimp. And then in the water, just a bunch of new boats, ships, and yachts. Of course, we don't know the names for these ones yet, but it looks like we'll have drivable cargo ships drivable yachts now, as well as a bunch of new drivable boats. In this next shot, we can see some influencers shutting down an entire intersection for a live stream. Kind of crazy. We've seen some of the vehicles here before, so I won't mention those ones again. Starting off with the car that they're actually standing on, we have the Vapid Stania, the Karen Sultan down here. Over here, we can see the Vapid Dominator ASP, as well as the Ubermarked Cypher. Then we can also see the Maibatsu Penumbra, as well as the Elegy Retro Custom. Then finally, Finally, up the top, we've spoke about a bunch of these ones before, but for the new one, we've got the Gauntlet Classic coming back. In this crazy Florida man shot here, which is just wild, in the very first millisecond, you really have to pause it to see this one, but you can see the back half of a Bravado Buffalo, so the police Buffalo will be returning. Very clearly in the shot, we can see a new Dodge Ram. This is not a returning vehicle, but I think everyone knows what a Dodge Ram looks like. Pretty hard to mistake that one. We also get a look of the Vapid Sand King XL whizzing past the screen. This dude here holding his sack, he uh, just got out of an Imponte Ruiner. This is the base Ruiner, not the Ruiner 2000 with rockets. I would hope this guy does not have a car that has rockets and a parachute because uh, yeah, there was a version of this car in GTA Online that had that. This is a new vehicle. This will be a Chevrolet. I'm not exactly sure which type, but there's actually a few things we can take from this screenshot. The first is the sticker on the back of the window here. It says Ride Out Customs. So it looks like this will be GTA 6's version of LS Customs, or at least one of them. I would assume we're actually going to have a bunch of different workshops or auto shops, I should say. In GTA Online and GTA 5 alone, we had LS Customs, Beaker's Garage, Benny's Motorworks, 
works as well as Amani Tech. So I would assume this is just one of many. We can also see that this is definitely a custom paint job or maybe not even a paint job. This could be a vehicle wrap. It's kind of hard to tell. And then finally, if you zoom in on the mirror, we can see that mirrors actually work in GTA 6. The reflections look accurate. In the mud club shot, we just get a bunch of the pickup trucks that we've seen already. The Karakara 4x4, the Bison. On the right though, we do have some type of monster truck. This looks similar to the Liberator in GTA 5, but the decal is different, so I think this will be new. And then very clearly, we do have the Nagasaki Outlaw returning as well. Moving on to the crazy Karen, she apparently is driving a Declass Vamos. Even though she's crazy, I think she's got pretty good taste. In this shot here, we can see two new police vehicles. The first one is the Stania that we saw before, and then a brand new vehicle based off the Ford Explorer. So it really looks like the cops are gonna have way more cars at their disposal, and I'm all for it. And speaking of cop cars, in the very next scene, we have another one, a Gauntlet Hellfire variant. But this doesn't just look like a cop car. I think this is gonna be like an FIB car. Definitely doesn't look like a standard police car. We can also see the Anis Hellion returning from GTA 5. And then on the top left, we have a Volkswagen Golf. With the dirt bike club shot, we've got at least two vehicles we can tell are returning, the Sanchez, as well as the Nagasaki Blazer. In this Weasel News shot, we get even more police cars. So many. I like it. So the one in the middle is a Buffalo STX police variant, and then the two on either side of it are a new vehicle based off a Ford Taurus. Up the top, we've got the Banshee. Again, another Dodge. I'm not too sure what this car is. And in front of that one, we've got the Karen Futo coming back. But maybe the coolest car in the scene is the Fister Comet Retro. Any classic Porsche, especially a 911, pretty cool car. And then the final scene we really have to talk about here is this one. Jason and Lucia are driving this one. This is the DeClasse Tulip. And then we have a fan favorite. I'm not really sure why people love this car so much. It's the Dubster, and I think it's the Dubster 2, a new version. I'm not one that loves the Dubster hype. I don't quite get it, but hey, you Dubster fans, yeah, we're getting an updated version. And there you go. That's every single car that the community has deciphered so far. Again, I want to give a huge shout out to the people of Twitter and Reddit. I would not know all of these cars myself. So this one was really a team effort. But if you did enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Boys!